Hey guys, I'm actually going to be doing a little kind of vloggy style video today because, as you probably know from the title, we are potentially getting a dog. I don't know if we're going to get one at this point, so you will know one before I do right now in this moment in time. Um, because we've been basically on a waiting list for a year and a half for this particular breed of dog and um, we're going to visit one tonight. But because we've had so many like close calls with these dogs, um, like with the uh, breeder, like uh, maybes and like maybe nots and uh, it's just basically been a bit of an up and down situation. I don't want to get my hopes up, um, although this is the closest we've been so far. So it's looking good and it's looking likely and hopefully we might have a puppy in the next couple of weeks. I'm going to take the camera with me, uh, but I don't know how much I'm going to film because I don't want to be like a freak with a camera when she's trying to like... <laughs> choose people to get their dog do you know what i mean so i feel like if i take the camera and i'm all vlogging and stuff she'll be like there's no way i'm giving the psychopath a dog but yeah i'm really excited the breed is alaskan clique they're basically a mix between a husky and an alaskan eskimo dog so they're a lot smaller and they're perfect for apartments because they don't need loads of exercise well they do need like exercise like any, any dog does but they don't need like two hours a day like a husky does and also they're great apartment dogs and obviously we're in apartments so that's perfect and yeah they just basically look like husky puppies their whole life so they're like the perfect breed for us because me and dan have always wanted huskies a husky is like our number one dog breed but obviously we can't give a husky everything it needs here so um this is like an amazing other option and actually i think i'm leaning towards this more than a husky now so yeah hope we get it hey peeps so it's actually now about a month later in the last clip you would have heard me talking about how we were going to go see the puppy and we did and he was perfect um i didn't get a lot of footage whilst we were there because obviously it's quite embarrassing vlogging anyway but when you're trying to you know make a good impression it's probably not the best thing to be doing um but anyway i tried to get a little video or dan took a video of me holding him i've got a lot of pictures so I'll, i think i will have included those already but um yeah basically it's a month later and he's actually coming home this week or next week and um i'm actually going to ibiza so dan's gonna go collect him on his own and he's gonna have him by himself for a couple of days um which i wasn't too happy with at first but it's okay because then dan's going to a wedding and i'm gonna have him by myself so i feel like any kind of connection they had i'm just gonna steal it and make it time 10 times better with me and i will be his favorite so it's fine but i thought it'd be a good opportunity to show you his setup because we're pretty much there now so this is his crate and then I bought a basket from Etsy, which is like a personalized one. By the way, his name is gonna be Pablo. I don't know if I've mentioned that yet, but we've decided on Pablo for the name. So this is his crate and I got him like a little cover for it just so he feels like safer in there and more cozy. Apparently that helps with crate training if they feel like safe and secure. At the moment, we've got him this temporary dog bed um, because I've got one on the way, which is like one that covers the whole of the bottom and it also comes with a bumper around the edge. Um, so that's on its way from Etsy, but that's gonna be here like hopefully this week actually before he comes or maybe next week. I just got uh, a little toy elephant, which is like a dog toy. Obviously I need to take all the tags off everything, um, but how cute. Bit of a gray theme going on, which actually wasn't intentional um but here we are uh so yeah it actually really matches the couch these are just some cable ties because we need to put some netting on the balcony before he gets here and then i've got this kind of like cool sensitive puppy shampoo which is like oatmeal one some towels again gray lol and then we have like some treats again these are like eight weeks plus so by the time he comes back, he'll be okay to have those. Then I got him like a little chew, teething, bone thing. We also got him a Kong. This is the classic one. We probably won't give this to him until he's a bit older because um, I couldn't find the small ones. So obviously it says like the weight up there, when, how big they should be before they get it. So we'll give this to him when he's a bit older, but um, apparently these are great. We've got some tennis balls, like obviously every dog loves tennis balls. And then we've got some like different type kind of like spongy balls. Um, in case he prefers those. I got some dentist sticks, but obviously again, probably for when he's a little bit older, uh, it says five to 10 kilograms on there. We're gonna have to like weigh him every time we need, wanna give him something. That's a bit weird, but anyways. Um, 
got my brush. I actually found loads of good stuff in Poundland. Pretty much like all of the things I've showed so far, apart from the treats, are from Poundland. And then I also got this from Poundland. Tug of War um, chew rope thingy, which looks pretty fun. Oh, a rogue poo bag, love that. We've got my harness, but this will definitely be again from when he's older, because he's definitely nowhere near this big yet. Well, actually, Maybe he will be by the time we get him. I haven't seen him in a month, so. And then we got a really cute collar and lead from a local shop. So this is Lord and Lassie, the brand. Um, and it's just a really nice, like, colour, like a really muted bluey grey. We're still waiting on his tag. Um, I ordered it from Etsy, and it should be here very soon. And then we just got him the matching lead to go with the collar. So that's everything in his little basket so far. And then we've also got these like temporary bowls. We got like, a little slip, uh, non-slip mat. And then we got these, which are just little like Mason Cash bowls. I did actually order from Etsy some different bowls, which are personalized and they're made out of concrete and they're really nice, um, but they're quite high. And because he's gonna be so little, I thought it was probably best to get him some small bowls while he doesn't need that much food and um, these can be like our second set when um, he needs to go somewhere and we need to like take his food with us but we don't want to take the big concrete ones. Those can be like our second option. I mean, that's pretty much it really. That's all we've got for him so far. We've also set up where he's gonna sit because obviously this is like Dan's side, that's my side. And he's just gonna sit in the middle on that blanket, I think. But I'm hoping he loves me more and he will just sit on me most of the time. But I'm so, ex oh, hello sweat patch. Um, but I'm so excited and I'm basically gonna be a mum, so don't worry about it. Okay guys, this is it. I'm in the lift. Uh, I've just come back from Ibiza and I'm about to meet little Pablo for the first time. Well, second time, but last time I saw him, he was really small. I think he's gonna be scared of me because Dan's gonna really be scared of everything, but um, we'll see. I think he's asleep at the moment as well, so. Hi. I can see him. Hey. Hello. Hi. Hello. This is Rosie. I'm Come your here. mummy. Oh, he's going to be so scared of me. Pablo. What's this? Hello. This is Rosie, Pablo. Oh, he's not interested at all. Maybe I'll go in there and let him come to me. It sort of takes a minute to get away. Yeah. And he desperately needs a shit. Does it? He's farting. Right. So, oh, look at him. He'll know because he, he, he'll he literally get up and he'll start sniffing around. like, And he'll literally be like properly sniffing really? the floor. And that means he's either going to shit or piss. Oh, my God. I can't He's gone. You will do it. Good boy! Yay! Good boy! That's cute! <laughs> it's so cute! Oh, my baby! Yay! He might remember you, to be fair, from the thing, because he doesn't do... Like, honestly, he's deadly afraid. It might be because he's inside, to be fair, and he's in somewhere that he... he knows and his mum. He's, exci he's excited. He knows and his mum. Rony Pabster. Oh. That is really amazing. He's so scared of peeps usually. Good boy. Good boy. He's fighting again. He desperately is a poo. Yeah, do not let him. Do you love me? Yeah. Do you love me? He'll fall asleep though if you leave him. Yeah, it went really well. If he growls, it means he's about to go for your face. So don't, if he go here, you go. Oh, really? It's just because he's like, he's playing, yeah, but he doesn't know. So just ignore it. When he's just nibbling like that, it's just because he's teething. It's when he goes and then tries to bite you, that's when he's doing something a bit more aggressive. Yeah, he does. So it's the day after I came home from Ibiza. Basically, last night we just were soaking up the puppy love, weren't we? And I was so happy because he just like 
really warm to me very quickly. Um, it's really hard to crate train though. Uh, Dan is a bit more like, let's just leave him in the living room and let him cry it out. Whereas I'm like, we shouldn't let him cry it out because that would be traumatizing for him and he's my son. So um, I think we should have the crate in the bedroom. So now I've just put him in the sling. We're gonna go for, for a walk to the shop um, and I'm gonna carry him around in the shop obviously he hasn't had his vaccinations yet so he can't see other dogs or anything so this is just a good way to keep him safe and um i'm gonna get some little bits that we need and this is our first outing together isn't it that's not going for a poo so that'll be exciting and hopefully he'll get used to some of the sounds of london because obviously there's a lot to take in so we're gonna go on a new route so yeah here he is the man himself i love him so much already it's actually ridiculous he's got um different colored eyes he's got one really blue one and one kind of like it's like bluey i think it's still like really dark blue but it'll probably go brown but the blue one is so blue it's amazing and i just think he's just the best dog in the world <laughs> he's so cute he looks really big on camera but he's actually tiny like look at him compared to my hand he's small i want to try and show you uh what we've learned today should we show them how clever you are at nine weeks old come on sit poor <laughs> Good boy! Sit. Paw. Yay! Good boy! <laughs> I'm not the cutest paw you've ever seen in your life. Oh, my baby. I love him so much. Shall I show you his cute little collar, actually? There we go. That's his tag. It says Pablo on it. It's from Bespoke for Pets on Etsy, if anyone's interested. On the back it says our addresses and numbers, so I won't show it, but... Yeah, he's just chewing on my camera cable at the moment, but I'm gonna let you because you're cute. Mm. Love you. I just filmed a video, um, which will have gone out in the last video. Um, so sorry if this is a bit of an Inception vibes, but um, it was all about how I'm having like a big change on my channel. I'm uploading more regularly, so you can go and check that out if you want to. That was uploaded last week. Here's the little guy. We're on day three. Dad's gone to a wedding, hasn't he? So it's just me and you. We're gonna have a bath in a minute. Um, his first bath. He's like in his crate now. <laughs> you. You're in your crate every night and he barely whines. And oh my God, I tell you what though, the biting is really, it's very jarring. It hurts. I've got marks all over my hands. And if I'm like just lying down on the couch, he will go for my face. He will like make a little growl as to make me like, to like tell me that he's about to go for my face and then he goes for it and if I don't move out the way quick enough he will bite my face so and he goes for my hair as well that's the one thing about having a puppy that nobody really tells you about is like the biting it actually hurts I think it's because maybe his teeth are so small that it is like needles going into, your, going into your hand isn't it but he's just a puppy obviously doesn't know what's going on so um I'm trying to distract him with chews whenever that happens I've got a nice like ear a dried out ear here that I keep shoving into his mouth whenever it happens um, but I think he'll grow out of it but yeah he's doing so well and he's going outside now he's like pooing outside weeing outside which as a puppy parent I'm very proud of um, it's going well isn't it Pabs? we're best friends don't we? Yeah. 